What's up collectors and Transformers enthusiasts? Today we're gonna be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series number 67, Skipjack. Taking a really quick look at the packaging, we can see the Night Transformers red logo on the side, image of him, 67, and the Transformers Revenge of the Falling. This is actually the same exact box as Rampage. As you can see, here we have both of them. As you can see the same image, just the number is the only thing that changes. On the other side, same thing, the number is the only thing that changes. Same image, Studio Series on the side. The back of the packaging, both Transformers 22 steps, because this is exactly the same uh, figure. Uh, yeah, nothing different, just the name. And on the other side of the packaging, they both are rocking that really good image of Devastator with the Devastator logo on the top. Not much going on the top of the box. As you can see the exact same thing. And that's it for the box. Let's take this guy open and see how similar he is to Rampage. And here we have Skipjack in hand and out of the packaging. And oh my God, I was really looking forward to this guy because I wanted to have my Devastator, you know, a little bit movie accurate. Uh, Studio Series stands for movie accuracy and I was really disappointed that you know they didn't release a repaint a little bit earlier but now that I have it in hand wow I can see that the exact same you know detailing and paint jobs have been just you know copy it and paste it to this guy and taking right away Rampage and putting him in the scene you can see that they look exactly the same the the face the the body is exactly the same just different colors they managed to uh fix a little mistakes here and there but essentially it's the same figure but different colors and they essentially released this guy because they wanted to give us uh a little bit movie accuracy with devastator so i i i, I cannot uh argue with that i am all about it. I really, really like movie accuracy and I like to have my figures as accurate as they can possibly be. And, you know, taking Skipjack out of the post and in his stand so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They essentially are the same exact figure. So, guys, what I'm talking about is this middle piece here, this black thing here on Rampage that put that exact same plastic, but, you know, in reverse. And this is the way it's supposed to be, because when you transform it in vehicle mode, this is the part that is supposed to be, you know, outside in the vehicle mode, not in the robot mode. When you transform it to the robot mode, this is the piece that it's supposed to be showing. You know, it has a little bit more robotic and... Uh, aesthetically piece placing for a for a robot but this one is for the vehicle mode so they essentially just flip this exact same piece like you know the way it was supposed to be and that was it the other you know major uh not major it, it's not even relevant but the only change that i found is that the packaging for rampage uh the guns already came you know peg in with him and for skipjack they have the guns, you know, separate. I don't know why, right? Because they they just, you know, I, I was expecting the same exact packaging because they are exactly the same, you know, figure. But maybe they, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> they, they want us to, you know, notice that he has guns. I really have no uh, intentions of removing the gun. Uh, essentially, they're the same thing. The guns that I'm talking about are the ones that Rampage have, as you can see. These are the guns that I'm talking about. Let me focus real quick on the guns so you guys can see. See, um, this is the part that I'm talking about. With Rampage, it came already pegged in in the box. And, you you know, you had to remove it and place it on the hands for robot mode. But for Skipjack, for some reason, for some real reason, they, you know, decided to package the weapons separately. But it's basically the same thing. Again, I I, ha, I still have that, you know, in the packaging. Because as soon as I end up with this guy, it's going to be straight in the package again. Because this is the guy that I am uh, using to post. And this is the guy that I am going to be using where when I finally complete Devastator. Yes, I haven't complete Devastator. Again, here in Puerto Rico, it's a complete pain in the butt to find figures. Uh, long alone um, collectibles like this one. I still missing uh, Longhold and the new one, the new leader class. Uh, I still don't know his name. The one of uh, Wave 10. 
those are the two ones that I am missing. The rest, I uh, managed to collect them all. Taking a look at Skipjack, we can see that he has basically the same detailing that Rampage, you know, had. Basically, everywhere that Rampage had red, Skipjack has yellow. And on my opinion, the silver is a little bit more pronounced. I like the black as I did with Rampage. The hydraulics looks good. You can see the pumps and stuff, all the card things. You can see the sprints, the things that he used, you know, to jump. Really, really nice. For a comparison, you already saw a comparison with Rampage. So let's uh, bring in the squad. Let me uh, put him on piece there so he can stay together and not fall. Uh, for a comparison with Miss Master, as you can see, pretty much the same side as Rampage. They're exactly the same. Let me see if I can put um, this guy here on the back so you can see how he looks with them. Please don't fall. This is basically my whole collection. I don't have Long Haul or the new leader class. So, yeah, this is basically it. There you see how they, you know, compare. In my opinion, there are too many yellows in here now. As you can see, yellow, 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 yellow. This is yellow squat. Uh, with long haul, you know, you got a more extension of, you know, color with the green. Uh, but this is how they look together. Let me uh, pull the camera out so you have a wider angle. As you can see, um, they look really good together, as you can see. I wanted to give you other angles, so this is how he looks, you know, alone with Scrapper. This is how he looks with Scrap Metal. As you can see, you're really good, really nice scale there. And this is how he looks with the ugly guy. God, I really don't like this one. This looks just nasty, honestly. Uh, but there you have it. That's a uh, high tower there. Let me just get this disgusting thing out of the way. And, uh... I already, uh, you know, I already give you Mix Master, but, you know, let me give you another, you know, angle of the two of them. And as you can see, this is how he looks with Scavenger. They look really, really good together, honestly. I, I think this is the duo that I like the most. Uh, this one and Mix Master with Scavenger and Skipjack. I really like it. really like it, honestly. For a transformation, I uh, kind of decided to just... You know to the transformation as fast as possible because to be honest you guys had already you know seen the transformation of this guy over and over and over and I, i'm pretty late to the party i didn't manage to do a review on uh rampage so i'm just gonna act like all of you now know you know how to transform skipjack because it's basically the exact same thing so I'm just going to fast forward and with a little bit of magic, this guy is going to be already transformed. There you go. And just like that, Skipjack is available on vehicle mode. As you can see, pretty much it's the same thing as Scrapper once again. Um, not much of a difference right there. The main reason is the one that I told you guys, the front section. So you can see on vehicle mode, uh, the... Part of the stomach becomes the front on vehicle mode. So as you can see, this one right here is, is supposed to be on robot mode. And this one is correct because this is the one that is supposed to be on vehicle mode. Having a closer look so you guys can see. Um, there you go. See? Looks really good. You can see some bents here and on the middle. And then when you take the other one, right? And you take this one, um, as you can see, it really, um, you know, it's, it's not the same thing. A part of that, um, there are basically no difference whatsoever. As you can see from the sides, basically the same thing. Everything that it, in yellow is in red and everything that is in red is in yellow. Basically no difference whatsoever. Everything is exactly the same. There are some parts on Skipjack that are a little bit darker on um, Rampage, but that's about it. But for comparison, let me bring McMaster here so you guys can see the scale. So you can see, I really like Miss Master. So taking him out of the way, um, comparing him to a litter class, 
here you can see that he is the smaller foe now and this is pretty good uh, this is supposed to be a lot bigger but in you know in concept for the studio series this is a pretty good scale because this is big and this is small this is a leader and this is a boyer class taking him out of the way and coming here with the jello squad so you can see the jello squad we are all jello here um nice scale two deluxes one voyager that he's supposed to be bigger um yeah really good let me see if i can bring every single one of them they look pretty nice together just to really look good to voyager is really 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 good well there you have it guys uh this is the last part of the video if you made it to the very 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 last part i really appreciate it i didn't want to extend the video even more because i feel like everybody knows how to transform this guy even uh more now that you know they have released a repaint but essentially that's it that's why i didn't transform it back to back and uh i'm gonna leave the devastator mode for the devastator video and i hope you liked this video if you did please leave a like subscribe if you enjoy my content and i'll see you on the next video thank you guys